the iPhone 14 Pro Ultimate Accessories List. Stick around. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Michael with A Practical Review. Uh, as you may or may not know, recently I picked up the iPhone 14 uh, Gold. This is the half terabyte version. Um, this is the iPhone 14 Pro, rather. Uh, and I really, really like it. Uh, the, my last phone was an iPhone uh, 10XR. Uh, and if you want to see that video, uh, click on the link below. Uh, I'm going to be showing off all the accessories and all the little accoutrements that uh, I got recently for the iPhone, iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, I got into MagSafe, so I'm going to be showing off a few products about that. Um, I'm using Apple stuff. I'm using some third-party stuff. Uh, so I just wanted to kind of show you guys what I use on a daily basis for all this stuff. Um, links for everything I show is going to be down below. A uh, link to Amazon with the exception of one thing that I couldn't find on Amazon. So I linked it to uh, Best Buy. Uh, and that is where I picked it up. But yeah, so if you have any questions, uh, please comment down below. Uh, give me a like if you find anything in this uh, video that you see value. And with that, let's go ahead and get on to the, uh, the first thing. First off, no, I am not sponsored. Uh, I went out and purchased all this stuff myself, either on Amazon or at Best Buy. Uh, and so, yeah, no, I don't receive anything for any of this. So this is all for you guys. This is all just review uh, of the stuff that I've used. I've probably used all this stuff over the past couple of weeks. Uh, and yeah, so these are my thoughts on it and, and what I've actually picked up so far. So the first thing I wanted to show you was the uh, glass shield that I got. So the glass shield that I ended up getting was Zag. It's the invisible shield. It is the uh, Glass Plus Defense Elite for the new iPhone 6.1 Pro 2022. Ooh, that was my phone that just hit the ground, but it's got a shield on it, so no worries. Uh, <laughs> Um, but yeah, so this is a really good shield. Um, I liked it. I ended up getting this one. Now, I went through a couple different shields. Uh, and the reason I landed on this one was because I didn't like having the cutout uh, of, of the camera itself. I wanted it to be a full face shield. Uh, to me, it just looks a little bit cleaner. I don't like having, you know, holes in the middle of my uh, iPhone when it's turned off. You can see it. So uh, I like that it's a it's a full facing shield. You'll see the only difference is that little nick right there at the very top. Um, don't know exactly what that's for, uh, but um, hey, whatever. Uh, so it, it works. Uh, be careful. So originally I wanted to get an OtterBox shield, but the OtterBox ones, the ones I got at Best Buy, uh, they didn't, uh, oh, actually I'll go ahead and go down here. The ones I got at Best Buy, uh, they, the OtterBox ones, they were for the 2000, uh, 2021 iPhone 13. So they had that notch cut up uh, out the bottom, at the top over there. And obviously that doesn't work. Uh, I don't know if that was mislabeled or they just haven't gotten the new ones yet or whatever it is. But yeah, originally I had a notch cut out for the top where the notch was in the previous iPhone. Uh, but this one's really good. Really like it so far. Um, you can see, I mean, you can kind of see it on here. There's a little blemishes in the corner. That Those were totally my own fault. I did not clean off the phone good enough in application. Uh, and there was a little bit of dust that got caught in there. And uh, I had to use a knife to get the dust particle out so I could still have it aligned correctly. And the knife, uh, I got it to the end and then the knife ended up, oh, wrong side. And then the knife ended up uh, cutting the actual glass itself. So this is what you can expect uh, to see when you get it. You unbox it here. And as you can see, I've already used it, but I kept all the parts. So this is a case, you just throw your iPhone in here and the it comes in two envelopes it's actually really nicely uh packaged and uh, really easy to do you just put your iphone in there and then you align these ends uh on top and the bottom and you can see these ends don't uh work correctly they don't actually align if you have the wrong side so if you have the right side they align so it's really kind of uh, foolproof you put that in there you put this one in this one and then you remove the uh, the actual glass part and then you just press it down, down swipe, to over swipe, and then it adheres itself. So it actually works really well. Um, all this stuff after you uh, put it on is not needed anymore, obviously. So really good product. I like it so far, haven't had any issues. So that is the glass shield that I have. 
on my phone. Now let's go ahead and talk about the cameras. Uh, on the back, we have a D Wiskin camera protector. Um, that's actually gonna be on the back here. So as you notice, uh, I have a gold iPhone, but on the back here, I have a shield. And the reason I liked this uh, camera shield was because it's flat. As you can see, all this is flat right here, um, which means I'm not worried about hitting the individual cameras. There's holes punched out for here and holes punched out for here and holes punched out for here so that it doesn't interfere with any of the um, actual functions of those areas. But the glass has protectors and it's all flush. Um, the way you mount it, it comes, and again, link down below. The way you mount it, it comes in this little pack right here, and then you open it up. And I actually ended up getting the, the double case of it. Um, and it comes like this little thing right here. And there you go. So that's what it is right there. And then you just peel it off and then you just stick it on. Um, pretty easy, honestly, I didn't really use, I mean, I wiped it, uh, I wiped it a bit to make sure it was clean. Um, but it was actually really easy application and I like it a lot. Now, fair warning, I have dropped my phone within the past two weeks, uh, and it's completely fine, but the adhesive on it did pop off. So the whole unit popped off. Um, I don't know if there's a stronger adhesive they should be using or whatever it is. It's been fine ever since I put it back on. So if you don't drop it, it won't come off. Um, but yeah, so that's just be forewarned. That's kind of what you get with uh, with this uh, this product right here. And it is the uh, camera screen protector. I have the information on the screen and I'll be showing it uh, down in a link below as well. All right, now as we get to the next one, let's go ahead and take a look at the wallet that I have. This is the... I love having my phone on my uh, my wallet on my phone. So I ended up getting the Vosku, 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 I don't know, the uh, Vosku wallet here. Uh, and it was about $30. So basically you get it in a pen nice package like this. They open it up. It's actually really nice. Uh, I rearranged the tape um, so that I can fit uh, it back in. But uh, so I can tear off the tape here, open this guy up and you'll see this here. I'm going to talk about that in a little bit, um, but right now let's just focus on the case that we have here. So we have the case here. It comes with, you know, some other things inside money back guarantee. And, you know, it's actually a really, really nice wallet. Uh, I actually really like it a lot because what I typically do is I'll take my phone and I'll separate it from my wallet. And that's why I like this one. You could take the phone here and then you could separate it out. And you can see that you can just have the phone on you if you want, or this is all MagSafe. So you can put it on and it's gonna stick on here. Um, there's a little extra flap here, which is new to me. My last one did not have that. I thought it was gonna bug me, but it's actually kind of nice because you can kind of, you know, put it like that and have it sit in front of you in case you wanted to watch, you know, some, some streaming services on it or something. So it's actually a really nice wallet. It's really, really well made. It's got the little Vosco in there. Um, the seams are really, really good. Uh, it's it's quality. It's a good quality wallet. So uh, I'm happy with it in here. You can see, you know, so it fits one, two, that's going to be your driver's license, obviously, two, three. And then in here we have another pocket. So I get four cards in there and that was completely fine. Um, I keep a little bit of cash and, you know, some, some cards in there in my regular. Yeah, there goes my phone again. All right, I'm just going to leave it on the floor. I don't know why it's trying to kill itself right now. Um, but yeah, so oh, anyway, so these are my uh, business cards. Uh, I do website design, little plug for myself. I do website design. If you uh, have any questions or anything, you can check out, let's put it in the link below, just like everything else. Uh, and yeah, so it's a nicholasmedia.com uh, website design if you need any websites. Um, anyway, so this is a pretty cool little nifty uh, thing here. But as you can see, my phone is not inside of this case. I do not use this case. Because it is MagSafe, I can use a different case. And so we'll go ahead and go on to the other case that I have. So it's the UAG Urban Armor Guard, something like that. I can't remember. Um, but it is the UAG Metropolis LT case. And that is going to be this guy right here. So this is the UAG Metropolis LT case. Um, there's a couple reasons why I picked this case. I liked it. So you can see it's protected for a 16 foot drop which is great because I don't typically like to be more than five feet eight in the air. 
<laughs> uh, and so you can see it's built with Kevlar. So I just imagine I can, you know, if somebody's shooting at me, I can just take my phone and just, you know, put it all over the place and try to block their shot. That's what I'm guessing I can do with it. I wouldn't recommend that. That's not me endorsing it. Don't do that. Um, but uh, yeah, so as you can see, it's a built for MagSafe. So we open this guy up and it's actually a really, really pretty case. Um, really nice. Let's go ahead and toss that guy. But you can see the MagSafe strips on the inside here. It's got their, um, uh, their patent number or whatever their uh, standard military standard number is right there. And then on the back, you got um, this kind of like, uh, it's, man, it's hard to describe. It's kind of like soft text. If you guys know what the new um, like Toyota Camrys or Corollas cars are, they have like that soft text interior, not fully, you know, um, not fully cloth and not fully leather. It's kind of like a hybrid in between. That's kind of what this feels like. Um, this right here, it's kind of like a hard rubber. Um, you could see you can bend it uh, pretty easily. But the one of the things I did like about this, it's got extra thick corners here for impact. Um, it's also got a little, uh, oh, urban armor gear is what it is. Um, but yeah, so you can see it's got extra thick corners uh, for impact there, which I actually really like a lot. Uh, because if it's going to drop and break, it's going to be on the side here. Um, also, one other function that I really like about this, since we have the camera mount on and everything, I like to put the, uh, the camera in first and then put this guy down here and shove it in. And there you go. But I don't know if you guys can pick up on this, but listen to, listen to this. It's really good clicking. I really like the clicking on this. It's, it feels really good in the hand. Now, it's hard for you guys to tell, but it is a solid, solid click. Uh, my uh, my phones typically don't have that solid of a click. So this is a, I actually really like this for the click, for the feel. It's really good. I feel like I can drop it and it's fine. Um, anyway, we'll go ahead and keep moving on here. Oh, let's get to the uh, what we're gonna do next is the iPhone AirTag, the Apple AirTag that I have. Okay, by the way, this is also MagSafe, so it's also gonna work inside this case, uh, which is why I kind of moved to the MagSafe uh, atmosphere. Um, so this AirTag, it doesn't look great on this wallet. I wish that Apple would come out with a credit card AirTag uh, kind of like Tile has. Tile has, a, and I have one somewhere, I should have grabbed it, um, but I do have a Tile tracker uh, that's a that's a wallet and a credit card size. Um, you just slip it into your wallet and it works great. Uh, problem is, is I have Apple AirTags in everything else, so I kind of wanted Apple AirTags to be one in everything. So I wanted a way to have the Apple AirTag on my wallet because I do separate my wallets and I do take this off very often. So one of the ways I was able to do that is I got this uh, card called uh, Pelican. It is a case. Oh, that's the four pack and the one pack. I'll have links to both of those um, as well. But this is the Pelican uh, sticky on protector. Um, it works really well. It sticks really, really well. I was worried about it sticking on top of this type of uh, like leather type of surface, but it hasn't come off once. It hasn't jiggled. It hasn't moved at all. Uh, also, the little holes right here are vented. Apparently, they increase the uh, audio capability in case you ever do play sound on uh, the AirTag, and apparently it works really well like that. Uh, so yeah, so I actually really like it a lot. It's it's it is on there. It is not coming off. Uh, and so yeah, so now I have an AirTag ability for my wallet. Uh, it doesn't really bother me that much because a lot of times if I'm you know wearing my wallet, I'm gonna have it in the back pocket. I put it on the front because I'll look at the phone like this and then I'll close it, put it up, and then I put it in my back pocket like, like so. Put it in my back pocket like this. So when it's in my back pocket like this, the AirTag is sticking up and uh, out. So that way it doesn't interfere with sitting down or anything. I thought that was pretty ingenious, but yeah. So uh, really good Pelican uh, AirTag protector works really, really well. And until Apple comes out with a credit card AirTag, uh, this is what I'm gonna be using. All right, so now let's go ahead and get into stands. All right, so the stands that I got, so I got a few stands, I have three of them here. Um, and so I was looking around seeing what I wanted to do for stands. 
and one of them kept popping up it was the uh belkin boost charge three in one as you can see there it's 150 dollars it charges your uh it charges your uh, phone it charges your watch and it charges your uh air airpods um of which i have all of them uh but the thing is it's 150 dollars, and i you know I'm, i don't know that i could justify spending 150 dollars on a on a stand um, additionally i've realized over time whenever i get uh third party uh kind of stands and charges and stuff like that it doesn't always play the best with the phone like it doesn't work every single time um and also i always worry about because i know with apple uh you can overheat the phone you can't really do that anymore that's kind of more of a worry from back in the day but i always worry about you know using third party stuff for uh apple devices you know it is a little bit more expensive to get the apple stuff but it gives me a little bit more peace of mind um so what i actually ended up doing was uh creating one so i have the apple watch charger right so that kind of fulfills the apple watch need uh what i actually did was i went out and bought a magsafe charger so i'm gonna get into the magsafe realm uh if you guys haven't done magsafe already uh it is you know it's this little this little magnet thing here Cave it on top and it sticks really, really well on the back uh, and it's safe for your phone uh, because there's no magnets up near the camera and that's where you don't want the magnets. But uh, yeah, so MagSafe works really, really well. I actually really like it. Uh, so I got the MagSafe charger. Uh, I got uh, a couple of these guys. Um, I got the USB-C ones because apparently the USB-C ones, you can leave it on all night, which I have, will have the stand next to my bed. You can have it on all night and it's not going to burn out your phone or your, uh, your watch like, you know, other chargers can. It can overcharge and then that's how you get shorter battery life. Okay, so then I went on the internet and I'm like, okay, I have all this stuff already. Um, I don't need a whole new stand that provides me whole new chargers. So that's where I actually ran into the EWA MagSafe 2-in-1 stand. Um, and this is what that guy looks like. And so what I really, really like about this is one, I think it looks really good. Now, yes, it doesn't have the AirPods charge at the bottom. It is just the MagSafe and the Apple Watch stand. But what I really like about it is that I can actually use Apple's own uh, devices. So I know that it's not going to burn out whatever I have if I leave it charging for a long time or overnight. Uh, I really like it. It works really, really well. Uh, you can see the cords wrap around. It's really nice. You can see some of the white cords in the back, but you know, it, I, I really like that it uses Apple's actual charging system and not a third party charging system because I know it won't burn out my phone or short circuit the battery life or anything like that. Um, so if you just do like a fun little uh, iPhone stand off, <laughs> get it standoff um if you do the iphone standoff you'll see that the belkin is 150 dollars uh and to get all this stuff like assuming assuming you don't have the apple charger it's assuming you don't have any of this uh it's gonna cost 119 dollars to have just this kit system yes it doesn't charge the airpods at the bottom the airpods at the bottom but you know for what you get i think it's worth it um, but if you do already have the Apple charger, then yes, you save yourself $30 right there. Uh, or I think it's even $40. Um, but yeah, so I think that's a really good option. Uh, I would do that. And in fact, I did do that. So we're going to go ahead and keep moving on to the next stand that I got. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's go back. Let's go back and I'll just show you, uh, how, how that stand comes. It comes in this, uh, little box right here, this, uh, two in one wireless charging stand. Uh, nothing super duper fancy uh, comes oh, here's an extra Allen wrench um, but yeah so nothing super fancy kind of shows you just how to work it and what it is and there you go all right fair enough nice and simple I like it all right so now we're gonna move on to the next stand so the next stand I got is one for my computer desk uh, and I really like this one uh, the one for my computer desk is next to me it's got a hingeable side up here um, one thing I didn't like about it is that it doesn't natively run down the backside. So I use zip ties uh, to go ahead and uh, hide the cord uh, as much as I could when it's down. So that's how it looks on my desk. Um, it works really, really well. I, I, I really like this. Again, I'm a big fan of MagSafe. Uh, it feels really solid. Uh, it's good metal. And I get to use Apple's own charger which I really like. So because I'm not having them create a power charging system for me, uh, it's only 17 bucks. 
for this guy. Now I had, I did have another one that was also really nice. It was a little bit more expensive, uh, but it did run down the left hand side. So you hear the mag safe right here, and then there was a pull, pull, and then the base. Uh, and it, it did hide the wire, but I'm left-handed. So every time I went to go grab my phone, I would run into the, to the pole on the left-hand side. So I'm like, okay, I got to get uh, one that I can grab from either end. And so this is it. So I think it, it works really, really well. I actually really like it a lot. It's very simple. Uh, and it's got like a nice, you know, grip at the bottom. So it's not gonna, it's not gonna move anywhere. Um, all right. So let's keep moving on here. We're going to take a look at what I have in my car. So I really like, oh, okay, sorry. I keep forgetting. Let's go back and show you the box here. This is the box that it comes in. Uh, just, you know, nothing too crazy. Just a standard little box and you open it up and then it, you know, you, I think you assemble it or no, it already comes assembled actually. Yep. And then it just comes with, uh, you know, some instructions. All right. So now let's go ahead and go into the car stand and we're almost done here. Uh, the car stand is one I really like. I did a lot of uh, research on which car stands that I would want. Uh, I ended up with this one right here. And the reason I picked this one is because I like to have my uh, phone low and next to my knee when I drive. Um, some people like to have it on the dashboard. Some people like to have it, uh, you know, in, uh, in the vent, in other places. I don't know. I like to have it low. I put it on the center console on the left-hand side and next to my knee. Uh, that way I can have it charging, uh, have it stand right there. Now this doesn't charge. This is just the stand, which is fine because I charge my phone on the, at the desk and I charge my phone while I'm sleeping. I, my phone's usually never below 85% now because I do, I do have charges for both sides. Um, but yeah, so this is a really good stand. Uh, the ends broke off. You can see, <laughs> you can see that the, uh, in the actual photo, they do have a little, little ends here, you know, right here. Uh, the ends broke off. That was probably my fault. Those those ends are foldable, so they're supposed to be able to uh, move toward what surface that you're using them for. Um, and I ripped them off. I, I, I broke this off my uh, car uh, part, my car. That way I can show you guys the stand here. And in the process, I accidentally ripped both those sides off. So that's probably my fault. Uh, I wouldn't blame them for that. Uh, this is what it comes in this little box right here. Now this box is definitely nothing special. Um, but you know, it works well. It's the MagSafe. Uh, we'll go ahead and throw this guy on here. And as you can see, it's just very simple. And there we go. Works really, really well. Um, anyway, so that is, that's pretty much everything I got. And then, oh, the one other thing is what I use for all my stands instead of actually using the, uh, the 3m that it comes with is i use this little 3m uh, tape that i have right here uh, i really like it it's a foam tape works really really well double stick on both sides you can pick it up almost anywhere uh, it's not that crazy i wouldn't order it on amazon um, i would just go to walmart or home depot or ace or anywhere you want to go for it because it is not a difficult product to find uh, but yeah, so that's pretty much everything. Uh, hope you guys like that. Uh, if you have any other accessories that you use um, on a daily basis, uh, please let me know. Um, I'm always looking for kind of some tech and uh, accessories that you can use. If you are interested in any of the products that you've seen today, uh, there's going to be links down below. If you click on the links and use it, uh, if you can either buy it or not buy it, but it helps out my channel a lot uh, if you do click on those links uh, to go check them out. Also, if you can go ahead and link, uh, like the video, you don't have to subscribe if you don't want to, I understand, but it'd be great if you guys can like the video. That way we can kind of push this out there and get it out there. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. This was a long video, but hopefully you got some, uh, some good value out of it and good content. And uh, anyway, have a good rest of your day and uh, goodbye.